Oh, good day, stats students. So uh, we're going to get started here, and we're going to talk about section 1.1 out of the book Statistics, the Art and Science of Learning from Data. Now, probably we uh, told you that you didn't have to buy the textbook, uh, and that is true. Uh, it is not a requirement. Um, and so if you wanted to buy the textbook, that's fine. To uh, be honest with you, if you wanted to uh, see this online, um, you could actually go to Google, type this entire uh, title, Statistics, The Art and Science of Learning from Data, and put in after that PDF, and I think you're going to be able to find a relatively, um, oh, uh, you're going to find an older version, but it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be all that old, and so, uh, so if you really do want to follow the textbook, you could probably do it online for free okay uh, but no matter what uh, it's important with this online class that you take uh, good notes uh, all right and so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present all of this stuff in, in PowerPoint and I'm also going to provide you with the PowerPoint slides so either use the power maybe print the PowerPoint slides out and take notes on there or uh, just get a notebook and like you're in class take notes all right the more times you write things down okay uh, yourself the uh, the better chance that you're going to remember things all right and so there's a lot of vocabulary there's a lot of symbols that you'll need to know and so um, the more you write them down I think the better off that you will be all right so I wouldn't just watch the video and say okay I got it uh, you probably need to take notes and study the notes and and re rewatch the videos if necessary. All right, and then a lot of times I have written commentary for a lot of these uh, sections, maybe chapters. And so, if you'd like to read some stuff that's, uh, you know, not coming out of a textbook that goes along with the lectures, you could also do that. All right, all right. So let's begin. So chapter one, using data to answer statistical questions, and so that's in section one point one. And so, uh, so we need to collect data. Well, what is data? That's the information we gather for, with experiments and surveys uh, in order to learn something. Okay, so that's really what statistics is sort of about. Is that is that you know I ask students what they feel statistics is about, and a lot of people would say, well, it's it's math. It's doing a bunch of formulas. It's you know, and that's not the case at all. All right. Um, Sure, we're going to work with some math, and we're going to work with some formulas, okay? But uh, that is not the driving force at an at a introductory level, all right? We want you to be able to understand things that you read in the media, and we want you to be able to read other people's research, and it's very possible that, depending on what topic that you get in, uh, you might have to use statistics in another course. Okay, and so we're not trying to make you statisticians here, uh, but we want you to have a good, solid foundation of what we do with statistics. All right, so don't think of it as uh, so. Don't come into the class thinking, "Oh, I got to do a bunch of math. I can't do math. I can't tell you how many people have taken my course who have told me I have never gotten an A in any sort of math course." But I got an A in statistics. And then I tell them, well, you know why? Because statistics is not your typical math course. All right? Uh, we're, we're true, there are uh, times that we're going to use math. And um, in other universities, and actually uh, courses that we have here at the, at the University of Akron, we get in a lot more of the math. Okay? Um, uh, but in this course, we keep it at a minimum and we just we want you to understand the topic okay and so uh, don't go into this class thinking okay I'm not going to do well it's, it's statistics it has to do with math I stink at math nah I'm, I'm telling you uh, that a lot of people do well in my course and uh, and they come out of the course knowing a lot about statistics all right so anyways, uh, so this is all about using data somehow to understand the world around us, okay? 
And so, for an example, um, we can run an experiment on, on a low-carb diet, all right? And uh, what would we gather there for the data? The data could be measurements on subjects, maybe before and after some sort of experiment, uh, after, you know, after they got on this low-carb diet, okay? Um, maybe it could be their weight or, or something else. Uh, maybe their cholesterol or whatever, okay? So that could be data. Uh, here's another example. So we could survey uh, the effectiveness of a Starbucks ad. And so now we're into marketing. Okay. And so uh, data could be collected from Starbucks customers, whether they saw the TV ad, how much did they purchase, you know, how much did they spend, what did they spend it on, uh, so on and so forth. And so um, what else? Uh, so we could do a survey of University of Akron students and we can collect data on the number of credit hours, their class rank, all this stuff are, is data, okay, their grade point average, their, uh, their number of hours that they go ahead and study, uh, so on and so forth, okay, all of this is data, okay, and we gather up all this data to learn the world around us, okay, to learn about uh, things that we experience, okay, all right, so what about statistics? Uh, and so, you know, before I go into the slides here, I ask students, well, well, where have you seen the word statistics? And a lot of times I get uh, it's sports. You know, I, I see it in sports a lot. Well, that's true, right? And, and what is statistics trying to do there? Um, well, first of all, you have to differentiate between the statistics that we do in this course versus the stats that you see uh, in a uh, like a football game, all right. So what happens now? Um, I just want to tell you that um, uh, it's not necessary to know about sports, and I don't give a bunch of sports examples. Every once in a while, I'll do do that. I'll give marketing, I'll give medical examples, uh, business examples, uh, so on and so forth, and so. Um, so don't think that this is all about sports, but uh, anyways, um, so a lot of times I have students go, oh, so we see halftime stats, right? Okay, so what are they trying to do there? Well, what's happening there is that uh, uh, they take the data, so they take every play that has happened, you know, and, and gone ahead and and synthesize it all into a table a lot of times and so they give you like the halftime stats for the different teams and they'll say here's the rushing yards here's the passing yards here's the interceptions here's the you know the turnovers the time of possessions all that stuff why were they trying to do they're trying to tell you a story okay and so um, they're just summarizing the data because our brains can't handle looking at all that data at once just imagine if they went and just scrolled uh, at halftime, all the different plays. Could our brains handle that? No, but no, nobody's brain can handle that. Okay, it wouldn't make any sense. And so, what do we do? We, we, we gather up that all the data and and put it into a nice table so we can understand it. So we actually do that in chapter two, but that that is actually uh, a minor piece of statistics. Okay, we use that in a bigger uh, picture, uh, bigger problem, if you will. Okay, so. Uh, with statistics, we go ahead and design studies. Okay, are we going to sample the uh, uh, a group of people or a group of things, or are we going to run an experiment or what have you? And so we design studies uh, based upon what we want to learn. Uh, then we gather up the data from those studies or those surveys or those samples. Okay, and we analyze the data. Okay. And then we take that data and we translate it into s now knowing something about the world, okay? And so that's what really this is all about, is translating that data into knowledge, okay? And the more knowledge that people have, the more they understand the world, or, and the more, uh, if you will, uh, if you power, right? Knowledge is power here. And so we're trying to take that data Translate it into knowledge so you can understand the things around you. Okay? So that's really what statistics is about. And we'll get into more specifics, obviously, as we go through the semester. Uh, but that, from a 20,000 foot view, there you go. 
All right, so after we get this data, what are we going to a lot of times do? We're going to summarize the data, like I was telling you with like the halftime half -time stats, right? Uh, a lot of times what we do is we t either take a look at averages, or we take a look at percentages, or we take a look at graphs and charts, and, and we do it do something with this stuff, okay? Uh, again, this would be a, a smaller step in a bigger picture problem, okay? So for example, uh, maybe we'll look at the average amount of study hours of UA students, all right? Or we'll make a graph displaying um, how study hours relate to grade point average, all right? Is there some sort of relationship there, okay? And so, what we do then is that we take that data and we make what's called an inference. And, and we'll get into inferences actually more uh, in, in section 1.2. But basically what's going on there is that we're making decisions or predictions based upon some data. And we're going to expand that definition a little bit. Okay, um, But uh, that's basically what's going on with an inference. And so we're trying to make an inference. So for an example, remember that low-carb diet? So maybe we can make some sort of um, decision with regards to is a low carb diet an effective way to lose weight all right so now we can maybe start to answer that type of question or the Starbucks do Starbucks customers who see the current advertisements spend more money on their purchase we can start to determine that and so we can figure out if that marketing uh, um, uh, you know ad or or program or whatever uh, is effective Okay, or do full-time University of Akron students have a higher grade point average uh, than part-time University of Akron students? Okay, and so we we take the data and we start learning about these different groups, these different sets of people, these different things. Okay, so we're just trying to learn about a uh, little bit about the world around us. Okay, so that ends uh, section one point one.